Robert Shearer walked into Kenton County District Court this afternoon facing an assault charge, but he left in handcuffs charged with murder. Shearer is charged with killing William Elijah Forsyth. He was born in August. And Shearer was arrested last week after the baby was taken to Children's Hospital with serious head injuries. The baby died early yesterday morning. Local 12's Joe Webb was in the courtroom. This afternoon, he joins us from the newsroom with the latest information. Joe. Well, Kit, it was an emotional scene in the courtroom in Covington today, and that's no surprise. A little boy is dead, and there are strong emotions on both sides. Shearer's family was there, so was the baby's mother and the man, young man who says he's the biological father. And they sat through some troubling testimony. Robert Brandon Shearer walked into the courtroom on his own today, a free man out on bond for an assault charge. But soon after his case was called, Shearer was facing wanton murder, and an Erlanger police detective laid out the facts. Amy Schwarr described how Shearer had made a 911 call from this Crescent Springs home about 10 o'clock on the morning of November 12th. He told the dispatcher he thought the baby was dead. EMTs determined he was not, and the baby was put on life support at Cincinnati Children's. Doctors there briefed Detective Schwarr. The injuries sustained to the baby were described as extremely abusive, non-accidental, blunt force, shaking trauma, resulting in a severe skull fracture. Schwartz testified that when questioned, Shearer offered little explanation for what happened, but he was the only person to see the child that morning. He made statements that it was his fault. Uh, he also asked certain questions if he had in fact suffocated the child or broke the child's neck. The judge set Shearer's bond at half a million dollars. He left in cuffs. His family sobbed at the back of the courtroom and the baby's mother covered her face and was escorted out. In court, the detective said Shearer might be the victim's father. Zachary Timmerman says he was William Elijah Forsyth's father and was with the baby when he died. I could see no remorse in him whatsoever. He was calm, collective, he don't care. I could see that he doesn't care. The only thing he cared about is his bond being increased to, five, to half a million. Now, Shearer's family did not talk. They said they wanted to be left alone. According to police, the baby's mother left the house last Tuesday at around 7 o'clock in the morning. Shearer called 911 a little after 10. He was the only person in the home with the child when the police and emergency crews arrived. Kit? Thank you, Joe. District Judge Ken Easterling ordered Shearer's case to go to the grand jury. The judge set the bond at $500,000 cash after the prosecutor argued that, argued rather that Shearer was a threat to the community and had failed to appear in court on previous charges.